I'm Austin Pearson, one of the Agriculture and Natural Resources Extension Educators with Purdue Extension Tipton County. Got one major thing to talk to you about today. We've got the Purdue Extension Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Technology Program coming up on June 30th and July 1st in Rucheville, Indiana. We'll be having that at the Jeff Stout Community Center. Um, we did have that opportunity in Boone County earlier this year. That is actually coming closer. Um, so the cost for that is $200. We will include the registration information in the email and also on the Facebook page for you to access. Uh, we'll have a flyer and any additional information you may need. Please call 765-675-1177 for, for more information. Um, also, we'll be going through in that program uh, any information that you need to take that FAA Part 107 Remote Pilot Certification Exam uh, and any applications that the drones may have in agriculture. So if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to give us a call. Thank you. Hi, I'm Eric Hillis, the Community Wellness Coordinator for Tipton County. This month, I wanted to tell you about the website County Health Rankings and Roadmaps, found at countyhealthrankings.org. This website provides health data on each county in Indiana. Now, data was recently released for 2021, and Tipton County ranked among the healthiest counties in Indiana. Now, compared to the rest of Indiana, Tipton rated better on measurements such as Food Environment Index, Unemployment and Children in Poverty, and even Income Inequality. Unemployment decreased from 2.8% to 2.7% with Indiana at 3.4% and children in poverty decreased from 11 to 10% compared to Indiana at 15. And finally, income inequality decreased from 3.9 to 3.7% compared to Indiana at 4.3%. But all these areas can still be improved and there's still work to do in areas such as adult smoking and adult obesity. Now something you'll find on the County Health Rankings and Roadmaps website are explanations of the measurements and you can compare other counties in previous years. So give me a call at 765-675-1177 if you have any questions or concerns with any of the findings or the topics themselves. I'm happy to chat anytime. Thank you. Hi, I'm Brian Howe, 4-H Youth Development Extension Educator here in Tipton County. Um, June is a very busy month for 4-H families, and so um, I'll just try to highlight a few of the things. Uh, first of all, we have camps that are going to be happening again this summer. So we have mini 4-H day camp at the beginning of the month for our younger 4-H members, kindergarten through second grade. And then also we'll be going to Shackamack State Park uh, later in the month for our third through seventh, sixth graders uh, with counselor opportunities for our teenagers. And so they'll be getting some leadership development and community service opportunities through that. Uh, we also have our 4-H um, road show going on. So those kids that are currently in grade 7 through 12, um, you can sign up to attend some workshops that are one day uh, that will cover career development or um, skill building or life skill development, leadership, things like that. And so they're going to be taking place across the state. Go to your 4-H online profile and see what um, dates and what um, topics might interest you. We also have fair entry that's going to be rolling out on July. 14th. That is our pre-check-in system for the projects that you're going to be bringing to the fair. So back in the winter you signed up for projects, now you're going to be telling us what projects you're going to be bringing to the fair and that will make the check-in process a lot smoother. Um, we also are going to be doing a show and go for our livestock shows this year, which means that the animals will come in the day of their show and then go home that evening. It'll be a lot like last year. We are just trying to reduce the um, opportunity for families to be mingling or being right on top of each other um, and being able to spread out as there's still concerns about the health and the pandemic going on. So um, more details will come about all those things in our uh, hard copy newsletter that will be going out in the middle of the month. You'll be getting it through your snail mail, also in your email, and it will be on our website. So if you have questions about those things, um, chances are that they will be in the newsletter. Also, YQCA for all livestock exhibitors will be taking place in person here on June 23rd and 24th. Every livestock exhibitor is expected to attend one of those or they can go online and sign into their YQCA profile and do that, but they must do that before they can show. Those are just a few of the things we have going on during our very busy month. If you have any questions, please feel free to call the office. 
Hey everyone, it's Miranda Cooper, HHS educator, and I want to update you on a few things I have going on in the month of June. Um, I am happy to announce that I'm collaborating with the Tipton County Health Department and the Tipton Fire Department to offer a community CPR AED certification course. This is going to be held on June 21st here on the fairgrounds in the auditorium, and we're offering two different time slots for the course. Uh, you can take it from 8 a.m. to noon on that day, or you could also sign up for the 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. time slot. This course only costs $10 and uh, we're doing cash only and you'll pay on site. Um, we do have a registration link just so that we can gather some information uh, and make sure we have the class sizes organized to offer a, a safe environment for the course. The next thing I want to announce is that we are relaunching the Home and Family Arts exhibit open class show. Uh, during the fair this year um, and so I'm helping the extension homemakers kind of organize that and get that together that's open to any Tipton County resident that would like to enter projects into that open class show um, all the information for that show has been posted on our county website um, that's where you can find the uh, exhibit booklet which outlines all the rules all the divisions that we're gonna have as, as, as well as the categories so um, that information can also be found on Facebook. Uh, I hope that people will enter their inner projects and, and really have fun with that. Um, we're also going to do a cookie baker rama So that will kind of be uh, on the side of the open class show. Um, and that's open to anyone, whether they're adults or 4-Hers. Um, and that's just another fun competition that we're going to have this year during the fair. Uh, the last thing that I want to mention is that I am having a uh, summer get walking program. And so I did this in the fall and it turned out really good. Um, get Walkin is a program through uh, the health and wellness portion of HHS at Purdue Extension. And it's a three month walking program um, and it's all email based. Uh, to sign up, you would just simply email me and I'll add you to the list. And um, for three months, you'll get emails from me uh, with tips and tricks on how to implement more walking into your daily lives. Uh, the benefits of that and um, uh, just you know some added motivation uh, along with those educational emails so I hope that if you are wanting to become more active that you'll shoot me an email and uh, get signed up for that program